um, the word of God teaches here that this woman, she did something that was a little unusual. She, she saw the man of God passing, amen. And as he was passing several days, she decided that she would do something for him. She entertained the man of God and she, she blessed the man of God. And believers, we understand here, the word of God says, if you give a cup of water to his servant, you will not lose a reward. So something here that we understand that she opened herself, amen, for new dimensions. No believers, but we are going somewhere, but we go back to go forward. No, we understand here that the Bible says in due season she built a home, a house, a, a place on her house for him, and he was entertained there. We move on further. Now the Bible says now that the man of God decreed over her and prophesied that according to the season of life that this woman would be blessed with a son. We understand here for many years that they were struggling with barrenness. They were struggling with barrenness, and now the word came that this is what God will do. We understand from the text it was was very hard for her to believe knowing where she was coming from and knowing the position that she was in it was very hard for her to believe it she said man of God don't deceive me don't deceive me but the word of God teaches that according to the season of life the man of God told her that so it will be that you will give birth and believers what happened here the word of God came to pass the word of God manifested in her life that now the woman was seen as she saw she felt she had her baby she was looking at the prophecy that had manifested. You see, believers, there's a difference between looking for, at the prophecy coming and looking at the fulfillment of it. It was now the manifestation of the prophecy. The son or son was there. I want to point out here that the Bible kept on saying, and it fell on a day. In the chapter here, it speaks, and it fell on a day, and it fell on a day. A couple of times it uses this. I want to say to us believers that from the text, we understand here that, that believers every day carries something in it. Every day carries something. I wanted to make note of that. Every day carries great potential in it. Every day carries blessings. And I want to say to you that the enemy also has some assignments for certain days. Amen. Bible teaches here that it was on a certain day that Job realized that his entire livestock and everything disappeared on a certain day. And we understand another day, it was a bad day for him again. But we understand believers later down in the text that there was a good day, a good season when God turned some things around. So we have to pray in advance because we don't know what tomorrow holds. Amen. But we know who holds tomorrow. That's why believers, we should always pray because we don't know what tomorrow is carrying. We don't know what is in tomorrow. We don't understand. We don't have a clue. That's why we should get up and pray and decree and declare and give the day an assignment, counteract some stuff and come against the plans and plots of the adversary. This woman had no idea that the kingdom of darkness had planned something concerning her prophecy, her manifestation, her blessings. You see, she had no idea that while her son was growing, and the Bible said her son had grown, that while her son was growing, the enemy was observing and watching the prophecy that was before her and the manifestation. Every time she saw her son, she saw the power of God. My God, every time she looked at her son, she saw the power of the mighty God in whom Elisha served. She knew that God was real because she was a barren woman who gave birth. And she knew that nothing else could have given her such power and such ability except the power of a living God that came to his servant. So therefore he was a walking miracle and he was an evidence of God's power. Can I say today that believers, there are many persons who are online today. You have an evidence. You have evidence of God's power. There's something in your life that every time you look at that thing or that person, or maybe even your, your children, you can see the evidence. Is That person is an evidence of God's power. My God, there's something your job. Every time you go to your workplace, you know the reason why you have that job is because of God. Oh my God. Someone who is married today, you know the reason why you are married. It's not like some other persons. You know yours. There's a testimony behind it. You know there's someone else who's thinking about your children. 
even like us and every time we look at our children we can see the power of a living God amen because you know that it wasn't as easy as some other people you know that there are persons who are at a certain level now and you know that every time you look at that thing that person or something you have to say to God be the glory then I say to others if you are not there as yet then get ready because God will do something in your life that every time you look at that thing that person or every time you speak there is no way you can speak without giving a testimony about the power of the living God. And this was the state that she was in. She was looking at her miracle every day. I want to go further now to speak to you a little bit about her son. Her son also represented the future. Her son now was carrying future blessings. Amen. And he was also carrying the family name. So therefore the continuation of the family now rests in this young boy. He was carrying a generation in him. He was the next generation carrying a generation. And now believers it means that he was he was important to to the lineage very important because the legacy of their father uh, uh, of his father was coming upon him and everything his mother had hoped for was coming through him and now we understand that he was very important to the family and he was also important to the assignment that god had upon that family so therefore this young man was strategically placed believers know you see they had no idea that the kingdom of darkness was watching that child and the kingdom of God was saying, listen, I'm only waiting for the right moment to hit this child out. Believers, I want to say before going any further, it's not everything you should receive. It's not everything you should settle with. Amen. Because the Bible said the enemy comes to steal, he comes to kill, he comes to destroy. And we must always remember that the enemy wants to destroy some stuff. He wants to kill some stuff. And believers, it's not everything you should just receive and believe that it is just normal. Some things must be rejected. Some things must be reversed some things must be cancelled. Amen. It's not everything you hear. You should say, okay, it is so, and just take it like this. Hear me, you should arise. You should become militant and pray and decide that this is not so. Listen, amen. There are some things in life that must be cancelled. I have to repeat it one more time. Yes, some things must be reversed. There are some things must be paralyzed. Amen. And believers, there are some things you can pray again.